Okay, we're out here at the 50 yard range with our Italian Carcano 1938 short rifle in 6.5. Kind of an interesting gun, but go to my overview video. I'll talk about the history and a lot of things about this particular model. Uh, what we have is fixed sights, and we're going to try to zero in at 50 yards. Uh, we're going to use the battle sight where we will put, start off putting the top of the rear sight at the 6 o'clock position and the front sight post down at the bottom of the notch. And we're using my cast bullets at 50 yards. And we're going to put two rounds down range just to see where we are. Let's go see what we did. Okay, not too bad. We got one here and one up here. So it looks like that's about where we should be. I'll load a clip, try to concentrate, uh, and see if we can zero it in a little better. The bore is worn on that, it's not perfect, so take that into consideration too. But we'll run a clip through and see what we get. Okay, so it looks like this rifle is kind of acting like our uh, 9138 Troop Special. The sights are kind of shooting in the same way, like they should, putting it down. Uh, this gun, though it's a little beat up, was not reworked after the war, has all the original markings and wear. And I kind of like this model. This short rifle's pretty neat and handy. It's got some weight to it. It isn't light like the little uh, cavalry carbines or the troop specials. It's got a little bit more heft to it. Uh, kind of gives you more of a solid feel when you shoot it. So let's see how this one goes. Right, let's go down and see what we got. Okay, don't know whether it's just I like concentrated better, but then again, top of the rear sight here, front sight down. This is our group shooting low, slightly towards the left. Okay, so that's kind of strange. Or maybe it's just the ammunition isn't uh, up to speed. It is a cast bullet. It is running slower. It is not to military specifications and velocities. 
So that may be another factor I forgot to take in during all this testing. So let me try doing a 6 o'clock hold with the front sight even with the rear sight next. Okay, like I said, this cast bullet load is not, it's about the same as a military bullet weight, but it's not sending it down as fast, velocity-wise. So it may throw the sights off, this shot kind of low, using uh, what should be set for, I guess the understanding is when they say 300 yards, they mean with the notch all the way down at the bottom, and the top of the rear sight, is that with 300 yards? Or is it the uh, front sight blade flush with the rear sight? Nobody quite specifies this, and then with the lower velocity ammo, kind of throws a twist on it. So I guess it's up to us just out here target shooting. Like I've proven, each rifle is different in its own little way. So now, I'm going to put, and, but the ammunition is the same in all this testing. I'm going to put the front sight blade flush with the top and then put it at 6 o'clock and then we'll just see the difference at 50 yards. All right, we got them all in the black. Now that's front sight flush with the top of the rear sight, and we're putting it down at the bottom where the whole black dots up. At 50 yards, we're striking bulls. So the next step, go out to 100, see what see what it does at that. See if it drops or whatever, stays the same. And uh, now it's time to go on to our next gun at the 50 yard range. <clears throat> okay, we have a 1938 short rifle in 6.5. And we're going to try it out at 100 using the same exact sight picture as uh, at 50 yards. So basically, front sight flush, 6 o'clock hold. And we'll see what it gets us. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Optimistic anyway. Well, I don't know if you hit it or I hit it. Well, I think it, that's what I was saying. I think it was me since it was the one. You need a bigger target? I just, I just thought it. I just want to see if it worked. I just, that's really all I needed to do. scope and see how we did and try to get some more down there. Looks like we shot a bit high. So I'm going to try to regulate more where my uh, front sight blade is. Try to get it lower in the groove. I might have slipped just coming down to the different ranges but it's throwing the sight picture out.
we got down into the bullseye. So it's just a matter, like I said, these sights are crude, so knowing where you are, keeping the same sight picture, holding steady. And so now I'll run a clip and take a look through the scope. If we do well, put some more in the black, then maybe we'll move on to 200 yards with it, if, if there's time. Okay, basically, again, it's a matter of remembering your sight picture. Kind of messed up, shot three high. Then I kind of readjusted my results were and got down where I got in the black. We'll go review this target when we go change them. And uh, now I'm going to move on to the next gun. Okay, the Model 38 uh, rifle in 6.5. When we first come out, we hit one up here and up here high so tried to make an adjustment and I shot three of them right around into there uh, right in this area so then we changed the sight picture and we got another three or actually one of them was in the bowl from the first this this one down here so like when I said one was in the black so the last three I fired were kind of like in through here and that and again it's just a matter of the sight picture remembering it and just a slight shift put those that group of three right there up into that. <laughs> 